This is Twit. Um, I have a an HP, um, and I have Windows Seven on the HP. Nice. Don't change. That's a classic. I know. That's what I was listening to you. That's a classic. But on December thirteenth, something got onto my um, computer. Well, you remember the date. Well, no, I'm right. I'm in on the uninstall and change program. Oh, and you're seeing it that it was all December a that day, December thirteenth. Uh -huh. Ah. Yeah. So when I, I, it's a slim cleaner plus. Yeah. So here's yeah. what happened. Do you have do you have kids, grandkids, or is it just you on the computer? Just me. Probably at some point on that day, you said I'm going to download a shareware program. Which I, I hardly ever do. I know, but that, well, I'm thinking that one day you might have. Yeah. And you went to uh, a very respectable site, perhaps something called download.com, which is run by CNET, which is owned by CBS. But unfortunately, lately, uh, like in the last couple of years, download.com has wrapped the downloads of good programs with their own downloader, which installs adware on your system. And that's what you've got there. Mm. <laughs> and while it's not it's not a um, virus in the sense that they're stealing from you, yeah, they're stealing your time, and they're perhaps making your is your homepage or your search different than it used to be. No, nothing. What are the different. symptoms? What made you think of this? Well, it keeps popping up. Yeah. with uh, uh, yeah. it wants a scan. Yeah, and I, I don't. I don't, I don't want, want, want you to scan. scan. No, I yeah. don't want to scan. Blandishments. It's it's offering you things. It pops up with offers to do things and then by the way after you scan it might pop up another message saying you know you really ought to buy our $30 program right and I always say no yeah but I'm trying so, to remove it it's fairly harmless you see it in ad remove programs yes or I guess it's called programs and features in Windows 7 well mine is uninstall yeah change a program yeah so you uninstall and you've uninstalled it I've uninstalled it, and it says preparing to remove, and then all of a sudden it comes up and it says, do you want to allow the following program to update software on this computer? And I, I answer no, and those two messages go away, and it's still there. I'd say yes this time. Oh. So what I think you're seeing is the uh, mic Microsoft has something called UAC, that pops up whenever you want to modify system files or do anything that could be dangerous. Uh -huh. So I think update isn't the right word. I think what you're really doing is removing, but it's asking you, you sure you want to do that? And oh. I'd, I'd say yes. Hmm. And then see what happens. <laughs> okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try this yeah. right now. And then continue through, because you say December 13th, because you know the date, because you can see. Right. There, is there more than one entry at that date? No. Okay. So, you know, maybe that you accepted an offer or something. I mean, I'm not sure what happened on that day, but, yeah, you don't need that. Okay, it, it comes up, do you want to allow the following program to update this Yep, software? click say yes. And it says program name Slim Cleaner Plus. Yeah, say get rid of that. Yes? Yes. Okay. And now you should be okay. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Sorry, I had to take a break there. What's it doing now, Joan? Oh, uh, well, it says you have to restart. To yep. Re Figure. Yep, because the reason what this does is this is not some ordinary program. This program starts up when you start up the computer. Uh -huh. It's doing all sorts of stuff. You do want to get rid of that, trust me. That's what I did. <laughs> yeah, and restart, and it should be it should be gone. And you came across this because you looked in your uh, uninstalls, or no? It pop it just automatically pops up when I. Uh, yeah, that's annoying. Yeah. It, uh, when yeah. I'm in, in something and, and it... So you're yeah. doing exactly the right when thing. I start the, when I start the computer and then it says it wants yeah. to do that. So you're doing exactly the right thing. That you that message from Microsoft is poorly worded. Because you, you say, well, no, I'm not updating. I'm uninstalling. Right. But that's what they mean. Oh, okay. <laughs> I know that's not a very good choice of language, is it? It's yeah, just, no, yeah. It's no, it's not. I, I didn't know that I... <laughs> It's because they only have one. They they only had room for one message, so they oh. may, <laughs> or something. I don't know. It's just dumb. But you, yeah, by saying okay to that, you're actually giving it permission to uninstall it. I see. Okay. What you're really doing is you're updating some system files. You are in fact updating them. You're changing them to eliminate the line that says start this thing up. I see. Well, great. I, and it, and I'm glad you called though. You should always be a little cautious. Yes. 
I, I'm it always- sounds like you are. It sounds like you are. Good. Now, if you were running as an administrator, which you are, it won't ask for a password. One of the reasons I tell people don't run as administrators is too easy to do these things. It's better and safer to run as a limited user oh. or a standard user. Because then you'd get that pop-up and it'd say, wait a minute, you need to be an administrator. What's the administrator password? And you'd have to actually enter the administrator password. Yeah. That's a little better. Okay. So keep so rebooting. Check that. Remove programs again. Make sure it's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Yay! Yay! Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. All right, Joan. Have a great day. Okay, you do the same. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. You. <laughs> it's so rare you get closure on uh, one of these calls. It's nice every once in a while. <laughs>